the news that the Russian army bought a UAV to attack Iran really made the West very worried. This topic hit up the newspapers in the US and Europe during the past time. Despite the fact that neither Russia nor Iran have made an official statement, however, US military officials repeatedly assert that the delivery of Tehran attacks drone to Moscow has taken place. One such document citing unnamed US intelligence sources was published in the New York Times, according to which the first batch of attack drones from Iran was delivered to Russia. After referring to intelligence data and several statements by unnamed officials, the author of the article in the New York Times confirmed that Russian cargo planes with the first batch of UAVs left Tehran on 19 of August. According to intelligence from the US and its allies, Russia has received two types of drones from Iran, both of which can carry guided weapons and are used to attack armor vehicles and radar stations of the Ukrainian army. However, there is a very remarkable information that has been released, that is the Russian army after the evaluation process felt dissatisfied with the UAV received. They did not get expected performance result. There are some errors in the operating system of Iranian-made UAV, which makes the Russian feel very unhappy. The NIYT quoted an unnamed representative of the U.S. intelligence agency as saying, Earlier, it was reported that Iran and Russia have reached an agreement to supply up to 1,129 and 191 drones made by Tehran in exchange for the delivery of Su-35 fighter jets which were formerly devoted to Egypt. The Kaif government claims that the Russian army used attack drones purchased from Iran over Donbass battlefield, but no concrete evidence has been given so far. Russia has about 1,500 to 2,000 recognizance UAVs, but lacks armored UAVs that can carry out precision strike on target deep in enemy territory. Meanwhile, Ukraine has used Turkish-made UAVs very effectively since the beginning of the war. In this situation, Russia's attention to Iranian UAV is understandable, especially when Western experts assess that Iran has demonstrated its ability to conduct airstrike with a swarm of UAVs aimed at a single target. They argue that Russia wants to increase domestic production of armed UAVs, but is facing difficulties because Western sanctions and export restrictions have caused the country to lack the semiconductor chips needed to produce the said combat vehicle above. Russia has had a high demand for semiconductor chips and if they can buy UAVs that are that are made entirely in Iran, they don't need to use precious, precious black market component to build UAVs, said Dmitry Aberovich, president of the private organization. Silverado Policy Accelerator consultant based in the US. It is currently unclear if the Iranian UAV testing process really go does not keep the result. Whether Russia will pursue a large scale purchase or will stop at the newly received prototypes.